thanks for coming back again then now since we are having this we know that uh, sine t x over 2 by cos of this is the same as sine a plus sine sine a plus sine a and even this one is the same as sine a plus sine a then meaning that since we know that it must be half of sine a plus sine b then even this one we are going to get a half of sine a plus sine b then now if this is our a b a and b then i'm going to show you the the equation in the next section then if this is our a then we're having tx over 2 if you multiply t by x we're going to get plus tx if you multiply 1 by x we're going to get plus x but they are all divided by 2 then plus sine what we do on the year we are going to do it but here we are going to subtract b from a then this is tx over 2 minus tx over 2 minus x over 2 they are done with this first part then now we go for this part here then it's the same as half into sine a plus b sine a plus sine b then it's going to be sine into x over 2 into x over 2 we are going to add this by that is tx this by this is plus x then we now we are sub we are adding again we are adding again a sine of because this is supposed to be sine a sine a is this part sine b it must be this part then it means that you're going to get half minus tx minus x then we close the brackets then how did i arrive at that formula we know that sine a minus sine b is equal to sine 2 sine a times sine a plus 1 over plus b over 2 cos a minus b over 2 or if we have this one sine a b over 2 times cos a b over 2 is equal to 1 over 2 because we divide both sides by 2 uh, into sine of a minus sine of b this is what we have and let me proceed from that side if we check on this side here uh, this plus sine t this one plus this one is tx plus half and on the other side we are having what uh, this minus this we are going to left with negative half there then it means that we are going to have here going to have sine 1 over 2 sine into tx plus x over 2 when we add them together plus sine into uh, those two the minus together each other then we left with negative this then we close the brackets then again we add half on this side and we say sign of then we go back to what we've been doing here you can see that here this x x over 2 plus x is going to give us 3 over 2 x plus tx and then if and again this one minus this one is going to give us minus half then we write them here sorry for just going up and down here then here i'm going to have 3x over 2 plus tx and 
and plus sign into plus sign into um, minus tx minus x over 2 close the brackets here instead of simplifying the brackets we must multiply first by half multiply by half if i multiply by half here 1 over 2 sine tx plus x over 2 plus half sine into minus x over 2 uh, plus a half into sine into 3x over 2 plus tx plus sine into minus into tx plus x over 2 check sine into tx plus x over 2 then this is a negative angle sine of a negative angle is a negative sine x over 2 plus 1 over 2 sine 3x over 2 plus tx then sine of a negative angle is negative sine tx plus x over 2 then when you look at this one this cancel that and then we'll be left with half sine 3x over 2 plus tx tx minus half this half there sine x over 2 then now we take out two half outside and we'll be left with 3 over 2x over 2 plus tx and minus sine x over 2. Then now we go back to the rule. If we have sine minus sine, this will be equivalent to cos a plus b over 2. But it is 2 cos a plus b over 2. Then now I'm going to have 3x over 2 plus tx plus x over 2 and my a is this is a still a and b then um, I'm going to have 3x over 2 plus tx minus x over 2 I subtract this side a uh, 2 half is a Three multiplied by half is one. Then we are left with cos into. But remember, there is over what? Over two, over two. That's how the formula say. You must divide by two as the same as I did there. Then here I'm going to have this. Then this one plus this one is two x. 